Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you preparing to take the Praxis Social Studies Content Knowledge Test 5081? These practice questions cover the subtopic of behavioral sciences. Let's review some of the types of questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's jump in. Problem number one. Which of the following falls under the category of new media? Internet and social media. The evening news report. Newspapers. Or community meetings. Let's begin by explaining what new media means. New media is a comprehensive term that includes not only all existing digital communication technologies, such as personal computers, the internet, mobile phones, it also covers new developments and potential advancements in digital technologies. Now let's go through each of the answers from bottom to top. Community meetings. These have been around for a very long time and they come in all shapes and sizes for interest groups or for location. And it's a time and a place where people get together to plan events or projects. So that is not going to be the correct answer. Newspapers as well have been around for a very long time. Uh, they are a printed publication made from folded paper, and it's a usually a daily thing. And the paper comes with information such as news and weather forecasts, etc. So this is not our answer either. The evening news report. This is a news broadcast in the evenings on the television covering world and local events. And this is also not the correct answer. So finally, we have internet and social media. The internet is a global network that connects anyone with a computer and access to information and communication. Social media is the websites, applications, etc., where users are able to connect and share content with others. So based on technologies and communication and digital and internet, I think this is definitely the correct answer, internet and social media. Problem number two, Wanda is seven years old. If Wanda understands that the symbols you are drawing in the dirt actually represent her, her teammates, and their role in the soccer play you are devising, she is demonstrating what type of development? Psychological, emotional, cognitive, or social? Psychological development. That covers cognitive, emotional, social, and intellectual development. So that's not going to be the correct answer because it's too broad. So I'm going to cross that out. Emotional development covers the understanding, experience, and regulation of emotions, and that is not the case here either. Skipping down to social, social development refers to the improvement of each person's well-being within a society in order for them to reach their full potential. That is not the case with Wanda either. Finally, cognitive. Cognitive development is the emergence of the ability to think and reason. In children aged 6 years to 12 years, there is usually the ability to think in concrete ways, such as how to separate, combine, and modify objects and actions. And this is indeed what Wanda is demonstrating. So this is the correct answer. Problem number three. A person studying rigorously during the week prior to an exam to maintain educational status in a competitive educational environment is adhering to which social norm? Appearance, social arrangement, performance, or resource allocation? Let's go through each. Appearance. Appearance is specifically physical appearance. So this means how people are supposed to look 
their apparel, their hairstyle, their grooming. So this is not going to be the correct answer. Next, we have social arrangement. This covers our behavior within social situations. So this does not answer the question either. Next is performance. This is how hard a person should be working within a particular grouping. So this seems like it's going to be a very good fit. But let's go on. Resource allocation. This refers to the allocation of resources such as time, money, and materials within a commercial environment, a business. So this is definitely not a possibility. Our correct answer is performance. Problem number four. Visual illusions, where the elements that make up the illusion lead you to perceive something greater that is not actually there, would be of most interest to a psychologist from the school of thought. Would it be gestalt, functionalist, structuralist, or behaviorist? Starting at the bottom, behaviorism theorizes that all behaviors are learned as reactions to our environments. So that is not going to be correct. Structuralism theory posits that the structure of the conscious experience can be understood through the analysis of the fundamental elements of thoughts and sensations. This does not work either. Functionalism is a school of thought that suggests that our behaviors and our mental states are mechanisms for survival. So that doesn't fit either. Finally, we have Gestalt. Gestalt psychology is a branch of psychology that is concerned with visual illusions and meanings. Gestalt is a German word meaning form, shape, or configuration. So Gestalt school of thought fits best here. And that's our correct answer. I hope I was able to answer your question so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.